Sport. Let's hit our calls of the day, starting with Uber, maintained a top pick over at Wells Fargo. Joe Weiss, you both own it. We'll start with you, Joe. I was surprised. I thought the stock had bottomed in the low 60s. It appears to be pulling back right now. I think the big moment is going to be the earnings in early August. At that time, you're going to find out, do they return to profitability? For me, that's the biggest question. Steve? I'd actually, and pardon me for not mentioning this, Patty Martell, our producer extraordinaire. I think we got breaking news coming. Yeah. I'd sold half of it. Um, when I started shaving positions. The reason why I sold more of that than others, I'm really concerned about the consumer. Consumer debt is reaching very high levels, almost historic high levels. We've seen that, as Jim has mentioned, and, you know, and, and I agree, we've seen consumer spending atrophy. And, you know, when, when you're spending that much more for a meal to be delivered to you or for a car to take you somewhere, I just think they are going to suffer. Now, on the other hand, if the reason why I didn't sign at all, I think Dara is smart enough to manage the quarter where he's not going to have two negative quarters in a row in terms of relative to expectations. All right. We've also got two calls in the home builder space. Lennar being downgraded to neutral over at Goldman Sachs, while NDR is being named a top pick over at Bank of America. Joe, I'll go back to you because you own both. Yeah, let's, let's take the two of them together for one second. And for those that focus so much on valuation, uh, keep in mind NVR the current valuation is about 17 times. Lennar, the current valuation is 11 times. So sometimes you pay the premium for the higher valuation because it's got a higher valuation for a reason. And I certainly would define NVR as the better of those two companies. Now, in the case of the Lennar downgrade, it's had a very sharp snapback recently. Uh, for that to continue, the company has to move away from the incentives that they have been offering over the prior quarters. Are they going to be able to affect that with rates beginning to move lower potentially, but you're never going to get the needed margin expansion until you see those incentives go away. Um, and that would be the one agreement I have with the note downgrading Lenar. And Shannon, we'll bring you in. What do you think about the home builders right now? Is it a good trade or is it more of a transitionary period? It's certainly a transitionary period, Dom. And if you look at, to, uh, Joe just made a great point about affordability. You know, we continue to see uh, single-family single, single family home prices rise over the course of the last several years and couple that with high interest rates, and it's been very difficult. However, there is a meaningful amount of pent-up demand. Um, and if you look at where that demand is going to be uh, met, it's likely going to increasingly come from new home sales versus existing home sales, even if we start to see a little bit of unlock with lower rates and people starting to be able to move um, from their existing properties. And so I think a longer term trend on the home builders uh, makes sense. I think in this transitory period, you're really looking for that lower rate environment to start to catalyze better housing numbers. And then I think you'll start to see a renewed interest in these names. It's just taken longer than expected based on the fact that we've gotten less interest rate cuts this year than maybe we expected back in November. All right. And Jim, I'm going to hit this one for you. General Motors, the target price being raised to 85 bucks from 75 at B of A ahead of earnings tomorrow. And you own this stock. Yeah, that's a pretty bold call. I'm at 70, which would be a 40 percent uh, price rise from where we are now. I'm getting to that by looking at the earnings estimates for this year, which are up 40 percent in the space of 12 months. Let's round them to $10 a share. I don't think this stock deserves to uh, trade at five times. I think it should trade at seven times, which brings me to 70. I mean, if it gets to 85, hallelujah. All right, there's the GM trade.